Hi there, welcome to another session of Composite Shock Talk. My name is Peter Tran from Composite Software. In this session, we will go over big data in the federal space and data virtualization. So what's the big deal about big data? Well, believe it or not, it isn't about the data itself. Of course it's involved, but the big deal about big data is the analytics or insight that you get from data, all the data that you have, such as military missions, threat event prevention, and waste, fraud, and abuse. That's a big one in the federal government space. So big data is about the analytics that you get from the data and the insight or information that you get from all the information that you have throughout the organization. So let's look at what big data is. Traditionally, big data comes from places like ERP systems or enterprise resource planning systems, CRM or customer relationship management systems, HRMS, human resource systems, and of course all the financial systems that are used to run an organization. Next generation big data include things like web logs, click streams, mobile devices information, and social media data. So where do you, where do you put all this uh, information from the organization? And after a while it piles up and we call it big data. So we put it in places like a database, such as Oracle, DB2, Sybase, or we'll put into an appliance like a massive parallel processing repository, such as Matiza, Teradata, Vertica. And also, uh, there are no SQL data sources out there, such as Hadoop, of course, which is very popular and sometimes synonymous with big data, MongoDB, Cassandra. So these are other examples. And of course, the cloud is very popular, either a public cloud or a private cloud. So this is all the places, uh, or the main places that um, information that gathers up throughout the years, we call it big data, of course, the more, the more modern ones, like click streams and uh, social media, uh, are places that we can put. And of course, what do you do with it when you put it here? The challenge of working with big data is the size and the volume and the speed or velocity in which they're, they're created. Um, so that's, that's obviously a big challenge, and, and it's where the name big data comes from, is, is the massive volume of all the data. Uh, the complexity, of course, it's, um, it's not all easy to deal with, especially when they come from different types of systems, disparate systems, and making sense of them is very difficult. Lack of knowledge is obviously an obstacle or a challenge because you may not have the in-house uh, expertise or knowledge to deal with uh, this, uh, the massive volumes of information coming from different areas and integrating them. Uh, how do you connect one type of data to another and again making sense and putting context into all the data to get the analytics that you're looking for. Um, well, let's see. That's where data virtualization comes in. Data virtualization provides you with a solution to deal with big data in your organization. Um, so to get the military missions, threat prevention, fraud or waste, fraud and abuse um, analytics that you're looking for, um, a data virtualization server has a way to access data from these different types of data sources, whether it be a traditional database, um, an MPP data repository, a NoSQL data repository, or even the cloud. A data virtualization server can bring it all together and provide some type of abstract to make the data look consistent so that the developer can work with it. And then once uh, they are able to work with it, they can feed into these various applications, these various analytical applications that provides information for military missions, fraud, waste, and abuse, and others that the government is looking for. So that's how data virtualization fits into big data. It first of all provides access to big data sources such as Hadoop, Netiza, and Teradata. And it brings it all together so you can actually work with it in one space. And probably most importantly, it creates an analytical sandbox to allow quick and agile development for you to create what-if scenarios derive at the insight that you're looking for very, very quickly. Hope that helps. Again, my name is Peter Tran from Composite Software.